In this video, I'm going to be installing a set of leaf helper springs to a small pickup truck. This truck is a 1995 GMC Sonoma, but these springs are universal springs that can be used on cars, station wagons, pickups, and trailers that use one and three quarter inch, two inch, and two and a half inch leaf springs. They mount under the leaf spring on the rear of the axle. This is just one particular type, but this installation will be very similar to the different style leaf helper springs available. This set came from Advanced Auto Parts, but they're available in pretty much any auto parts store and on the internet. So let's get started. For those of you out there that aren't familiar with helper springs, the purpose behind them is to avoid the rear of the vehicle sagging when you're adding a load into the back of a truck, SUV, a car, or whatever it is that has leaf springs. These can be applied to keep that level riding. Um, and the uh, reason behind that what is, is it makes it a little safer to drive and it relieves some of the stress off of your stock springs to where you don't wear them out from uh, having increased loads. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look under the car and get these mounted. On the inside of the box, you're gonna find the helper springs, the U-bolts, the, the plates to go on the other sides of the U-bolts, and all the mounting hardware. Also, there'll be a set of instructions, and go ahead and make sure you reference those instead of just listening to me. Um, this is just, you know, just to demonstrate putting them on, but uh, make sure you follow the instructions. These particular sets come with three different settings, I guess you could call it, and it's light load, medium load, and heavy load. And what makes the difference is the placement of this rivet in the hole on the, uh, on the, the leaf's helper spring itself. And you can see from the drawing is the best way to do it. With the rivet placed in the furthest hole, you get the medium load, and by placing it in the closest hole to where the U-bolt mounts, you get the heaviest load capability. This particular kit ranges between 1,000 and 1,500 pound uh, capacity to keep your level uh, riding, uh, you know, position when you've got a load in the back of your truck. The first step is just getting the uh, spring itself into place. In the instructions, it says that you want the rear of the truck raised, say, on a lift. Um, uh, I don't have a lift, so I'm going to have to do this a slightly different way. And uh, which is probably the way a lot of you will have to do it unless you have this installed at a shop. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just loosely attach the, loosely mount the spring on the underside of the truck's leaf spring. One thing you need to do, um, and it'll show you in the instructions, is the bolt that holds on the rear part of this spring comes with two nuts. One of the nuts goes on the inside of this bracket and one goes on the outside. If you didn't have this one on the inside, it would just crush these brackets in. Um, so what I did is I've adjusted the the nut ahead of time to where there's a little bit of a gap involved so it does squeeze it in a little bit and that'll sort of act as a uh, lock washer I think. If I find that this comes a little loose I'm going to end up putting a lock washer in there and maybe some Loctite to make sure that this doesn't uh, come loose. But once you've tightened up the U-bolts on the front this backside is pressing up against the uh, spring anyway so even if this came out it wouldn't spell disaster right off the bat but if you got it you might as well just go ahead and use it. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is just shift this over and kind of finagle this up onto the spring. And then once it's in place you just want to slide that bolt all the way through to where it goes uh, through the hole on the opposite side of the bracket. And then you might end up having, depending on your truck spring size and everything, you might end up having to adjust that nut to uh, make sure you can get it through the actual hole on the bracket, as I'm having to do right now. Um, but uh, So once you get that in place, then the spring is just going to hang on its own, and uh, you can kind of shift it and adjust it into place. It says in the instructions that the further the helper spring is shifted towards the rear of your truck's leaf spring, the higher of a ride you're going to get. So, uh, wh so what I'm going to do, since I just want a lighter load, I'm shifting it all the way towards the axle. So it's um, going up against the plate that the U-bolts that hold the axle on. It's going up against those. So now that it's just hung loosely, I'll go ahead and toss on the other nut on the outside of that bracket and then start adding the U-bolts onto the, uh, the U-bolt onto the front. The next step is just placing the U-bolt into the recess into the helper spring itself. 
with the threads facing upwards. Um, next thing you want to do is take the plate and stick it over the holes. Then your lock washers. Then just hand thread your nuts onto the U-bolts. And then from here it's just everything is just sort of hand tightened. And this is the step where um, that uh, for the instructions it said to raise the rear of your vehicles, the raise the rear wheels of your vehicle off the ground before assembling this. And uh, I think what that is going to do is it's going to relieve the tension in these springs that you can see these gaps. Then I'm just going to repeat this step on the opposite side. Next, take a jack and raise the rear of the uh, vehicle up until the tire comes off the ground. Make sure you're jacking it from the frame, not the, uh, beneath the axle, otherwise you're not actually decompressing the spring. So uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to jack it from the front leaf perch to where the spring tension comes out of the uh, leaf spring. Now that the tension's off the spring, I think I'm going to add in a uh, jack stand somewhere just for safety, and uh, then I can tighten up those U-bolts on the helper spring. With the right spring taken care of, I'm just going to repeat the same steps to the left. With the leaf helper springs installed, you can go ahead and load it up and see if it's uh, riding at a level you like. If you think it needs a little more help, go ahead and add that rivet in to the first or second location and see if that does the trick. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and test this out and see how mine is set up. So here's the load I'm going to hook up to my uh, truck just to see what this does to its ride level. This is a stack of 161x6 decking boards um, and right now I do not have the weight on the hitch. So I'm going to set up the tripod and let you see the difference as I set the weight down on there. So after putting the trailer on there and seeing how much it dropped and taking it for about a one mile test ride without the trailer just to see how stiff the suspension felt, I feel like I'm going to go ahead and add in the rivets and see what that does. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and add the rivets to the heaviest position and just see if I can uh, sense the contrast by setting it down on the trailer as I did on video and then taking another ride. So uh, this is going to be test two. I put the rivet in the position that said it was for the heaviest load. To me, for whatever reason, it looked like the uh, pin that said for the medium load, the hole for the medium load that the rivet would go into would adjust it even more, but uh, I'm just going to do what the instructions said for now and try this. I have a feeling it's not going to make too much of a difference. It only made a slight difference in the position of the end of the spring that's closest to the axle, so uh, let's just see how it goes. We'll see how much it crunches it down. It's the same load, same amount of wood on the trailer. So, uh, you know, I didn't go about that very scientific. I guess I could have measured it both times, but um, i kind of thinking it really did about the same. So I think that, uh, you know, that's just where she's going to ride. That's a heavy load of wood on the trailer there, and um, I'm going to end up, I've got somewhere to go tomorrow where I need to load up a lot of wood in the back of the truck. So that's when I think I'll really see uh, if it makes much of a difference, mainly in the handling and uh, how much it presses the back of the truck down. So uh, hope you liked the video. Hope that uh, for some of you out there that are looking for a solution like this, this might be the answer for you. Um, if you have something similar on your truck, let me know how it works for you. I'd like to know more. I'll end up reporting back in the future of uh, the 
what I, how I feel about it. Um, otherwise, subscribe to my channel, visit me on Facebook, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.